All right, I'm uh, doing this sports video just so that I could be on the record. You ready for this? Spurs in five. That's mental, right? Watch. Watch. If they do it in five or less, I'm coming back with the belt. Don't make me get the belt, okay? So now I had this prediction before the series started. Everybody thought I was crazy. Spurs have won the first game, so now they're like, wait a minute. Somebody was going to win the first game. Okay, so it's, the Spurs winning the first game is not a, that big a deal. It's still, you know, a long shot, obviously. But look, A, I love the Spurs. I love them. You know, I know they've been boring for 20 straight years, etc. That's the thing. Conventional wisdom. But really, if you look at the passing, one, it's such awesome fundamental basketball. So if you're a basketball fan and you don't like the Spurs, there's actually something slightly wrong with you. Uh, now, I get it if they're not your team and they're not your city, et cetera, especially if you're from Miami. I get that, right? But when you watch them play, they play the beautiful game. It's like Brazil in soccer or now Spain in soccer as well, but in basketball. Pass, 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 pass. And what does it lead to? It leads to easy baskets. Teams that get easy baskets win basketball games. That's why they had the best record in the NBA. And that's why they have a much better chance of winning this series than the Heat. Like, people get all riled up and like, oh, my God, LeBron, James King, James, and Dwayne Wade, and the big three. Yeah, okay, yes, I know. And the OKC, Russell Westbrook and Durant, and phenomenal players, and they'd have phenomenal dunks. Oh, Russell Westbrook with that big dunk that was worth two points. Okay, and then the Spurs will go pass, 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 and get a much easier two points. Easy baskets wins basketball games. I love the Spurs. I hope they win. And, uh, and I think they're going to win. I know it's a little ballsy, but I'm saying in five. And finally, my new favorite player, Boris Dia. Oh, the reason I love him, he's Spur 101, of course, right? Fundamentals, etc. Unselfish. Super hustle. But overall, the real reason I love him is because he maximizes his talent. What he gives you is 100% of what Boris Diaw can give you, right? Yes, he's not as good as LeBron, obviously, right? He's not as good as a lot of players in the league, but he gives you everything he can give you. And that's exactly what the Spurs are about. Hear me now, quote me later.